Hey everyone, meteorologist Joe Martucci here. We did have a tornado warning in parts of Ocean County near Manchester and Lakehurst with this line of thunderstorms that passed on Friday afternoon. The Weather Service will inspect to see if there was in fact a tornado on the ground there. Otherwise, it was windy at times. You see those blue circles. That's where we saw thunderstorm strength winds. And one was out near Lakehurst, the other one in North Cape May. And there were some areas of roadway flooding with this as well. In fact, EHT saw 0.84 inches of rain in 15 minutes. That'll certainly do it. This is what we had going into the day here with that severe weather risk. 1 to 5 p.m. on Friday, we were pretty much right there with the biggest potential being high winds as well as small hail. We got a little bit of hail and some very localized areas of wind damage here, but definitely could have been worse. All right, let's take a look forward here. Let's look at our weekend scoop. Air quality worsens on Saturday. That wildfire smoke is back, and we are looking for a few p.m. showers, mainly in Ocean County. It's not even a definite, but just something to keep an eye on here if you're going to the beach in Lava Lead or in Long Beach Island, and then very comfortable as we go into our Father's Day. Here's a look at that smoke. Big plume of it overhead as we go into our Friday night for Saturday. More of the same. This is because we have northwesterly winds driving that smoke from Quebec and Ontario our way. Then as we go into Saturday night, some of that smoke starts to really go offshore. And we get a little bit for Sunday. I think it hazes our sky. But not going to be like Saturday where if you have asthma or respiratory issues, you're going to want to stay inside with that HEPA filter to really cleanse out that air. Here's a look at our future cast. Still looking for a shower or two. As we go through about midnight or so, then Saturday morning, good amount of sunshine. But remember, it's going to be very gray out there with that smoke. There's a potential shower in Ocean County during the afternoon. Should be light if we get it. Most of the showers stay north. And then we're mainly sunny, mainly clear as we go into Saturday night and into Sunday. And again, a very comfortable Father's Day here. A couple of clouds as we go into the afternoon as we wrap up that Father's Day holiday. Let's take a look at our weekend planner brought to you by Broadly. Smoke for Saturday, mostly sunny for Tuesday. Temperatures are about seasonable for this time of the year, and that humidity is on the lower side here. Really, you know, if we didn't have that smoke, it would be an A plus for both Saturday and Sunday. The smoke's the only thing we really have to worry about here. And even at the shore, 80 degrees on Saturday. Notice those winds coming out of the northwest. And on Sunday as well, I think they start from the west, but probably end up coming from the south a little bit and cool us down as we go into the afternoon. Then let's take a look at next week. What I'm watching for is a couple of days of coastal flooding here. We have a high pressure system located near or off of the New England coast. We have a lot of rain with a cold front to our south. We're going to get an easterly wind for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And that should mean, or at least could mean, coastal flooding during the high tides. I think this would be minor flood stage. I don't believe we'd be talking about moderate or major. Just enough to really be a nuisance. Here's a look at our inland seven-day forecast. Some smoke comes back as we go into Juneteenth on Monday. So if you have the extended holiday weekend and you're allergic uh, or have asthma issues, you want to take it easy inside. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, a little bit on the cooler side. And that's because of those easterly winds. And to be honest with you, it's going to be one of those days where along the shoreline, we're in a low to mid-70s, Egg Harbor Township, maybe Mays Landing, you're in the upper 70s, and then you go way inland, Bridgeton or Hamilton, you're in the low 80s here. Coastal flooding Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Next shot of some solid rain should come on Friday. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks for following along all day today with that severe weather. We'll keep you updated on social media. You can check out our Bowdoin Beach forecast for the weekend as we go into.